So stick with 360. That's your message. If you don't, well, you don't it, like it, it is an offline <laughs> device. Okay. Can't believe it. Ten bucks. I just found an original Xbox Jasper edition, the latest of the first editions, the best ones for reliability in this size. Sure, RGH mods on these aren't the best. They're not really recommended. So now that the bad update 1.2 is out, let's use a USB drive to hack this thing. Howdy y'all, welcome to the DIY channel. These old Xbox 360s have never been cheaper and never been as easy to hack. So let's get into the video. Log in. Don't connect to the internet and don't connect to Xbox Live. And also there's a few things we want to check before we exploit our Xbox. Let's go into our system settings console settings, system info, we can see we're on an older version. So we're going to need to update our system to the latest version. Next, let's set up a USB drive. First thing we need to do is check our USB drive is actually going to be fast enough. Plug it in, go to storage, go to your USB drive, configure it now. Yes. Okay, our device is ready and it meets the Xbox 360 performance recommendations. That's good news. Next, we need to move on to the computer. So we're going to need to download five pieces of software. First, our system update. Next, we're going to use the bad builder to do the bad update exploit. This makes it a lot easier. I'm going to get the 64-bit version and we're going to need the .NET 8.0. I'm going to get the Windows X64-bit version. I'm also going to grab Aurora, and the last thing I'll grab is a bad avatar. This will automatically exploit our console every time we power it on. Bad avatar is exploiting it! Oh, that was so fast! And before we do the bad builder, we need to do our runtime. So let's install our .NET 8.0 runtime. Now we can launch bad builder. Bada dun, bada dun, bada dun. This will build our USB drive for us. So hit enter and select your USB drive and Y, enter. And that will format the drive into FAT32. Here we don't select anything. We just hit enter to install all the files. This is super nice. It's automatically downloading all the tools, the bad update, the rock band blitz demo, everything we need to run the bad update exploit and to back up our NAND just in case we make a whoopsie. Next, select XE Unshackle and that will copy everything to the USB drive. While that's doing that, we can unpack Aurora. I'm going to use 7-zip, extract files, just a NAS fine. There they are. I'll just rename it to be more tidy. Yes, we want to add a homebrew, Y enter, add a homebrew app. Now we go into Aurora, select the path, right click to paste it in, hit enter, Aurora's added. Finish and save, save and exit. So type Y and hit enter and that builds your USB drive. USB drive's ready to go. Yep, we've got all our files, apps. Yeah, Aurora's in there. Now we need to configure our launch.inn file. If we edit it, then here we have our default program. What we want as default is Aurora. So if you go into Aurora, we want that .xex file to launch. If you hold down shift, right click, you can copy as path and then paste that into default. Remove the quotations. So it's not going to be H drive when we plug it into the Xbox. It's going to be USB. Save. Exit. The last thing we need to do on our USB drive is our system update. We need to put this on the root. If we open it, just drag and drop it on. USB is done and eject it. And it detected our system update automatically. So we just go to yes and it will reboot and install. Now we're on the latest system version. Now we just go to our games. I open my games and Rock Band Blitz. Don't press anything, let it fully boot. If you go too fast, you can crash the hack. Five or six seconds is long enough, so then hit A, and you can see now we're running the exploit, and as long as that background is scrolling, the hack is working. Now this used to take 20 minutes sometimes, but now it only takes a minute or two. It is much faster. And the only annoying thing is you have to do this every time you run the console. But hang on, because there is a way we can automate this. Let's just get everything working, and then we'll automate it after. And this took me about a minute and a half. If you do get unlucky and it crashes, 
Just reboot and try again. XE Unshackles work. From here we can get our CPU key, save it to the USB drive, and you could build a custom NAND if you wanted for an RGH mod. Now if we hit back it should boot into Aurora. We can hit start and we just need to point it to where everything is. So we go to content and we add a path. So application, we go to change, point to the USB, USB apps and select, save, back. You want to use your NAND flasher to back up your NAND in case you brick your console. You can use a Pi Pico or something to flash back to the factory NAND. Now if we go back to system settings, we can get back to the original dashboard. So press the X button, go over to system settings, hold the right bumper. Yes, and that will override our INN file that points to Aurora. Now you just go back. And you're in your normal dashboard and we've got one last thing to check in our x menu if we go into settings and profiles we just need to make sure it's not going to auto sign in and that way we can set up a bad avatar that will automatically sign in and run the bad update exploit so that every time we power on the console we get back to aurora so now we can turn off our xbox and put our usb back in our computer bad avatar we're going to need to extract that and we're going to use the files from bad avatar to replace the files on the usb stick go into our bad update payload select all of the exploit files should be four of them delete them and update data and the xke update they need to go as well and as long as you have the default.xex we should be good we need to go to our bad avatar we can copy the new files you could also copy and replace and the other one is the content. We just need to copy that into there. If you can't see the content folder, just make sure you've selected the hidden items in view. Put our USB back. Fingers crossed. So let's go for the live speed. This is literally how long the hack takes now. And you'll know when it's starting the hack because the lights on the Xbox go crazy. Yep, there it goes. So that a bad avatar is logging in to the Xbox and running the bad update exploit for us. Eight seconds. Oh, that was so fast. XE Unshackle is running and gonna boot us straight into Aurora. Wow, that is almost as good as my RGH Xbox. We can actually plug the internet now and get some cover up. So just don't sign into Xbox Live, whatever you do. If we go into start assets download should start getting some cover up i didn't have internet yet but here's what it looks like once i did get internet and i wanted to see if the homebrew store works so i went into the script and downloaded it and sure enough it works just like my rgh xbox so if you want to know more about how the homebrew store works i'll link my video up above and at the end of the video on just that subject and heaps of other cool mods we can do with the xbox now that it's hacked as well and i'm also going to try and back up again now we go to the back button we have file manager go to our dvd and we need to copy everything in here and we select everything in here now we go to the right and we copy a now we go b up a directory and we go to our hard drive you could also put it on your USB drive, but it's going to be a lot quicker to load off a hard drive if you've got one. So you can make a folder anywhere you want. We'll have to point to it in Aurora later, but generally your games are saved in the content folder. So if you were to use the normal menu to back up a game, that's where it would be in the whole lot of zeros folder. So we'll just make a folder called 360. Probably should have called it 007. We'll go into it. Well, we could have called it games and then a folder called 007, but you get the idea. And we'll paste all the files in there. And just like that, it's backing it up. And after this is done, I won't need my game disk anymore. It can go away for safekeeping. And once that's finished, go into the start menu and add the content of your games folder. I'm going to create a new one in custom and point it to my hard drive and I ended up making the right directory hierarchy keeps everything tidy when I add more games and I'm going to set the depth to 5 just in case there's subfolders and subfolders and subfolders etc so it's going to scan further than just the two and the last thing to do is go into the assets and re-download them this will get our cover art 
Yeah, there we go. Look at that. You can get updates. You can launch it. Sweet. And it launches. No disk, of course. And we just choose where to save. Sweet. Backup game's working. Temperatures are good. Hello? Mr. White? Yes, who's this? <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone, let me know in the comments how you got on, or if you had any troubles. I'll try my best to help you out, and I'll catch you on the next one.